two left to play, third period. Here he comes. Whoa! What a bit, what a bit of work. And the crowd is still shivering over that move. Besser's stick. Old Mark is going to try it. And he scores! Linus Old Mark! Line between Ott and Reeves. A shot from the line. They score! Hang on a second here. This puck goes on the outside of the net. This doesn't go in the net. Yeah, I saw it, the puck it, on the outside of the it, net, Panger, at the end. It never goes in the net. Upon further review, the puck never entered the net. It was on the side of the net. No goal. Sent back in by the Ducks. They score! Oh, it took an awful deflection in front of Schneider. And the Ducks have tied the game. Now this is the second goal that's gone off a Devils player. I believe it's Ben Lovejoy this time. Still loose on the slot. Kessler! They scored! Wow. Third own goal by the Devils in this game. You can't make this stuff up. The toughest goaltender by far, and he might be one of the toughest guys in the National League. Look out! As that one gets away from Talbot and goes into the net. Oh. A dump in ends up on the back of the Oilers' goal, and it's 3-2 Buffalo. And another one here just to... For Nashville's out trying to... The Weber, but it's a two-on-one. Patrick Marlowe back from Couture, score! And again, hardly a chance for Pecorine. And there's what he's going through. In tonight, just past the five That's a penalty. Mark. Barzell played the puck while he was standing in the penalty box, Joe. And that is a no-no. That's an automatic penalty that he probably didn't even realize. He's going to go right back in. Capiano's going to scratch his head and said, what the heck? But that is the correct call in the youngster. Sees part for Crosby to the goal. He scored! It was a one-hander, wasn't it? I think it was a one-hand wrist shot up in the air by the glove hand. Sidney Crosby, he's got it all. Right through the middle of the... Out of the playoffs in that second round series with the Winnipeg Jets. And there's a lacrosse goal from behind the net from Trevor Zegras <laughs> right off the ensuing wow. faceoff. What? And Montembeau was not ready for that. What a move. How can you be? How can you be? Nobody expects that to happen. And what's so impressive about Blackhawks to walk right down the slot. Hawks were not able to cash in. Look out. Oh, a giveaway and it goes into the net. The Blackhawks put one in their own cage. Let's see. Brodziak just swats away at Seabrook. And the puck goes in off of Duncan Keith. He might buy Ablocator and a good show. Oh, oh my goodness. Throw man. The shot go and the Blues put it in their own goal and it's one nothing Red Wings. Goaltenders make this move a hundred times a night in the NA. It's in there someplace. It's not. It's not in the net. The play is under review. The play is under review and they're also trying to figure out. Forget if it went in the net or not. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Might be that short-handed play. Oh, Crosby scores! Incredible deflection! He batted it out of the air, across his body. And a smile as he comes to the bench for 87, Sidney Crosby. They have to go in the second. Nice pass! Holtby with an incredible stop! He robbed Yanmark. Ponick the other way, and Bishop will squeeze that. Holding on for the whistle. Braden Holtby. But think that this sustained penalty kill is giving confidence to the island. Oh, it bounces in. They score on a broken play, just as it looked like the Islanders were generating momentum. Inadvertent play. You're going to see this. Try to get chipped in. Has room to clear, and he does. It just missed Deneau. Deneau scores! Whoever he was playing with that night. Uh -oh. Tip it open net and he scores. A broke a broken down play in the defensive zone. 
And almost a warm-up shot for Owen Tippett. And Mayhew will chip and charge. Quick whips on it. And it's in the back of the net. And Anaheim has taken the lead. And Mayhew has a big smile on his face because of the fortunate nature of what goes on here. So it's always a mental battle. It's always a mental battle. The Kings have had the opportunity. Walks the line. Let's find out. Oh, and boy, oh boy. a blowout for McCarr. And uh, that means he'll be tapped by Markstrom. Pass across Stryker. Stop by Markstrom. Does a cartwheel and makes the save. And the Flames clear the softball. I'm speechless. How did that step? It's awfully difficult to, to get moving. Oh, in front, score! Ovechkin! A bad bounce off the board, 6.93! The first toward the puck, so out comes Hartman, he plays it right to Joseph, whose shot winds up in the net, they score! Matthew Joseph will get the shorthanded goal, it's 5-0 Tampa Bay. And Elaine Vigneault is going to make a goaltending change here. Carter Hart with the right idea to come out to get the puck, but then he banked it right in. Pitlick springs out of the box. Swayman is out of the goal. Oh, tough break for David Postenock at that right point. Just jumps up. Oh, Sebastian Ajo oh, gets it back no. from Blackwood and sticks it in. You got to be kidding me. Mackenzie Blackwood fanned on the clearance attempt, and it's a slam dunk for Ajo, shorthanded to put the Hurricanes ahead. Now, there was some mistakes in the neutral zone initially. I thought Ajo was going to walk in all alone, and then the Devils got a break. Back and it sails wide. Through, 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 oh, through. Bluger, he scores! Teddy Bluger gets the last lap. And there's Lincoln's just hurt, maybe. No, he's just embarrassed. And that's exactly why you don't let the goaltender do that. He did, the same thing happened when we were in Winnipeg, Mirzy. Get the goalie out, just get out of the net. Let the players. Teravainen tipped the puck. Bishop's out to play. Ryan was on there. Patrick Sutton scores. Wow, what an adventure for both goaltenders early. And Ben Bishop is down, colliding with Hedman as Sharp gets an empty netter. One nothing Chicago. Stop by Palat. Right in front. McDonough with a chance. Spins. Oh, and it's blocked by Palak. What a play. Game over. We're going back to Tampa with us. Into the feet of Sheary. Gensel towards the net. A deflection score. An own goal. Pittsburgh has taken the lead 3-2. Off of Jake Gardner behind Curtis McElhaney, and Pittsburgh gets the lead. Gensel shanked the first one, and this one he got lucky. Head back, Zetterberg from center. Diving with the glove was Ryan Miller. And he gets a standing ovation from some of the fans here at Joe Lewis. Sutter had come onto the ice. Wait, says Mantha comes in. 2 on 0. Oh. There's. Oh, Bobrovsky! A skate save from point blank range. Back go the jackets the other way. Polito in, and the shot is blocked. Back. Nick Sealer moves inside, outside, inside, and he scores! Nick Sealer, how do you do? A thing of beauty. And it's 4 to 2. What did we just see? Nick Seal. Sure, Verstegen scored a flukier goal than this. It actually goes off Crosby's stick, and then it had a deadening sound. Does it look like it almost hit that red running uh, track on top of the boards, then hit the glass? Flurry couldn't loke it. Now here he comes, trying to bust through the middle. And scores! What a goal by Alex Ovechkin! Wow! And this is just solid strength and puck skills. Get him the puck in the middle of the ice. He splits the middle of the 2D. 
Re-enters for the Leafs. It's Matthews. He shoots. Save Vasilevsky. Dives back. Gets to the puck. Covers it up. <laughs> Is there anything we haven't seen in this game yet? That puck was alive on that shift. First, Adam Ernie couldn't tame it in the neutral zone. Ends up being turned over. Mark in a good pass. Athens see you looking. Going back door. Murray! How did he do it? Bertuzzi had his hands up in the air. Unbelievable stop from Matt Murray. Oh, my. Goal that Malkin scored in this building that went into the glove of Howard. You could see it through the meshing, and it went over the goal line. And this is very similar. This puck... If they're here, a giveaway, Panarin is in, in front, score! No, it didn't go in, he made the save! Oh, I thought for sure that was in the net. Ryan Strom with a big chance. And here comes Halak, Yossiel, he scores! Two goals in a span of 35 seconds, and the Nashville Predators have come from behind to lead the Bruins. What? Talk to Kevin Dean. They say they play a lot of man on man. They don't really play layers in their own zone. And even though. Wind it down. Kicked out in front. And Panera scores into a wide open net. Well, Mark Andre Fleury, the victim of a bad bounce, right off the end boards, right by him, and right to the Blue Jays. Konechny centers, Mark from the save. On forward for Brandon Sutter, out comes Hart for the puck, clears it, held in, Besser hit the post, no, it's in. It's in. Pardon me, Brock Besser scored from just inside the blue line with Hart caught out of the net, and the Canucks are on the board. And you see the puck's rolling here, Carter Hart. Icing as Anderson got a piece of that, Whoa, scores! by Fleury says it all, doesn't it? You need a break something. And won the cup. Flyers move this out. Here's Giroux. Makes the move and he scores! A beauty from the captain. Gets things started. One, nothing. Flyers. Well, they started on time in this one. Oscar Lindblom with the opening shot of the game. And then after a couple good plays. It's awfully difficult to, to get moving. Oh, in front score! Ovechkin! A bad bounce off the board, 693. Slot knocked down Hornquist, unable to tee it up. Taken by Crosby, back and try, he scores! Another impossible goal! The Penguins have tied this game at four at MSG. Incredible. When you're the best in the game, you're the best in the game, and you... He does, but it's tipped ahead. Here's Marchand. Couple seconds left. Brad Marchand stopped by Bobrovsky. And the siren stops the game. Holy cow. Brad Marchand almost beat the buzzer to win this game for Boston. And Bobrovsky's all smiles. But no kidding. He has here. First toward the puck. So out comes Hartman. He plays it right to Joseph, whose shot winds up in the net. They score. Matthew Joseph will get the shorthanded goal. It's 5-0 Tampa Bay. And Elaine Vigneault is going to make a goaltending change here. Carter Hart with the right idea to come out to get the puck, but then he banked. Oh, held in again by Tyler Ennis. Morazic misplays it. Shutout has been broken. At the side of the goal was Colin White. Two things to make yourself still feel involved in the game, like getting to the end boards on this wrapper pretty tough class. pretty tough to re to react and say Couturier and everybody just ducks so that's why you got to pay attention when you're sitting on that bench you can't just let your mind wander you got to watch what's going on especially if the puck is anywhere near in the vicinity you may have a little bit of a hold up yeah I think it did crack the glass and you can see it kind of splintered yep right next to the head of Adam Pellick there on the end of the bench one that's how close, and that's where he was sitting when that puck came through. Back and it sails through, wide. Through, oh, stick. Bluger, he scores! Teddy Bluger gets the last lap! And there's Lincoln's is hurt, maybe. No, he's just embarrassed. And that's exactly why you don't let the goaltender do that. He did, the same thing happened 
when we were in Winnipeg, Mirzy. Get the goalie out, just get out of the net. Let the player die right in. Puck check by Markstrom. Pass across Stryker. Stop by Markstrom! Does a cartwheel and makes the save! And the Flames cut the off. I'm speechless. How did that step? I, I, I just can't. The outside, you gotta try to get in the middle. Look at this bounce. A can! Score! Just a tight! Wicked Carum! And a break for Anaheim. It's 3-3. I'll tell you what, Roxy, that's one way to get the puck in the middle of the box. Just use the stanchion along the glass. This ends up just going around. It's a dump in. They're right back in. Here's a shot. Score! <laughs> stick from that point area. Theodore's shot. Knocked down in front. Pass a chance. Dropping it off the turret drop, tick tack, oh what a stop, how did it not go in? It's a much better power play than the Rangers had at the start of the second. And now Shesterkin lost the puck out in front, score! O'Connor oh. with the four check from Cogliano to take the puck away from Shesterkin. Colorado has the lead as they get a shorthanded goal. Through the corner. Go for it. Jeremy Swayman is no! Oh! oh. <laughs> Handling it, getting square, and finding a lane right up the middle of the. By Ryan. His father Tim is here. Costin, Shadow, and Fabro. 30 minutes complete. We've settled nothing. Discussion right before the horn. We'll see what materializes here in period two. A one-timer ripped on that. Skinner had it off his shoulder and go in. And Vancouver gets one back. 41 seconds in. Skinner stopped the shot and then had it go off his shoulder and in. And I believe that'll be yep. Miller's 12. It is in his head's first breakfast. Long pass, Hintz oh. deflects it. Pavelski picks it up, goes to the net. Diving back is Evan scores. Joel Pavelski gets the hat trick. Canadian players swipe at it. They both take each other out of the play, and the one thing they don't get is the puck. Oh. Watch right there. He misses it. Harris misses it. Now for Letestu. Letestu wide, steps into a shot. Big rebound. <laughs> Patrick Lott. For the finish, youngster. But now he heads to the bench and hangs his head. There's nothing much you can do. I mean, this is just... Mark out of the zone. Not sure why Seth Jones was standing outside the zone there, Jonesy. Yeah, Patrick Kane's thinking the same thing. That's all. Very handed on. opportunity. We talked about the end of the period. Miko, foul is in, looks to Miko. Saved by Riddick, puck high in the air. And Riddick runs himself into the crossbar. Trying to catch that puck off the glass. Riddick Torres. Bullseye! Tally. Till you see the fantastic finish. Oh, over you go. In the no play zone there, he got caught. The puck just slid far enough that he was able to get it out. That was a. Oh, oh scores from long range. And Calgary's tied it in the most unlikely fashion. Well, how about that sequence? You've got a glorious save on the power play by Markstrom. To side, he likes his play. Tuck behind the defense, back and score. That's coming in on zone by Yoki Haru. Tuck got a tremendous amount of speed. Mark Stahl just crumbles as soon as he hits the boot. Dalene trying to tie up McDavid, who's got an open net. He won't do it. McDavid the open net. He hit the post with 57 seconds to go. Sabres come back the other way. They looked at the Edmonton line. McDavid open again behind the play. The penalty coming up here. It's going to go against Edmonton, but the Sabres with the net empty. Don't want to stop the play now. In behind the net. Now touched up.